so you can see this so for this these two maps for this activity i have used so many vocabulary words in my writing so whatever the green words you can see some uh, some are adjectives some are vocab some some are words uh, verbs relating to the map activity you can see this so my full writing is uh, writing is full with and i have not repeated any words you can see this so here also so many vocabulary good words i have used for map activity i have not repeated anything so you can just watch this video full till the end and you will come to know how to use uh, vocabulary words for writing task 1 hello everyone i am monica from ielts 9 so you can see this question statement 15 june 2023 ielts exam so that was map activity so within 10 minutes i will make sure uh, that you will understand this activity so no other video uh, uh, it will be required for you to watch it only just to practice with me so here you can see let's read the question statement first the maps show the change shelton village from 1910 to 1910 to 2010 means 100 years gap is there so first map is this so first map is this and second is the same you can see this 2010 okay and along with that i will show you the vocabulary also relating to this map activity of course two types of introduction also so the first introduction is this and second i have just uh, provided you here so i will show you everything so let's start with the question statement the maps show the changes uh, the Mm, sorry the changes in shelton villages in village from 1910 to 2010 so let's read the map first so 1910 uh, first map is this so here we can see one road so major important things landmarks you should always find same in listening also first important thing is find the roads school road london road high street and here you can see one post office house butcher uh, or and school also So here we have you have seen uh, butcher house, school, and house department. Okay, now here large house in the center. It is large house and it is surrounded by uh, you can see uh, other houses also and trees. You can just find it and cafe is also there. Bank uh, bakery is also there. Okay, so and there are uh, again two houses, uh, two large houses on the other side of the high street. So let's uh, read the another map also. 2010 means both the things both the maps we will discuss in past tense only okay so here some changes you can see mm, yeah first uh, let's see this school road school road now they have developed uh, supermarket along with parking lot bank is also there so earlier what they were having butcher house and uh, one big house was there okay let's look at the central part central part here large house was there but here now they have what they have developed so a uh, small house uh, residential house units are there along with what introduction of new road small road and cafe is same cafe is same and big house uh, so there are uh, instead of bakery they have uh, just uh, constructed two more uh, one more house over there now this side london london road and this is northern side of uh, side of this map this is central this is north this is south this is northeast this is uh, northwest and uh, the last one is southwest this is okay so here post office earlier only po one post office was there now you can see lot of housing units are there okay and these three main uh, this this change this change and this change so these are the major changes no here also instead of two houses we have four more houses so let's look at the vocabulary relating to this map activity you can note it down in your copy for map activity you should always use these word for changing kind of thing in introduction you can use this word transformations means some modifications convert all directions you should know north north this is central north south west east and then northwest south east northeast and southeast okay now here changes developed facilities amenities conversion of expansion of extension 
extension extended modernize renovate replace relocate to or if we are talking everything in past <coughs> tense then change the verbs narrow down okay and one more thing here untouched or unchanged alterations built constructed or reconstructed so these are the vocabulary words you can see this now we have analyzed we have read the map here both the maps here what changes they have done so let's write this introduction so introduction means we have to paraphrase the question statement and as you know what is the minimum requirement is 150 word 150 words and you can write up to 170 or 150 if 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 you can't write exceeded 150 then it's okay 150 means important things if you have just uh, just uh, just written in the answer sheet that is also a good thing let's look at the introduction so question the maps show the changes in shelton village from 1910 to 2010 so i will show you two introduction how you can just uh, just write simple and you can just make another type of sentence the provided maps are because we have two maps of course tense tense what tense you are going to use past tense because both the maps are in past the provided or given Two maps reveal the transformations which have taken place in Shelton village in the century from in, in one century you can write uh, from 2010 to 2010 uh, uh, 2000 uh, sorry 1910 to 2010 so I have used particular century or you can use in one century so in fact this you should use particular century this is also um, adjective with with the for for that century word so you can write the, this kind of sentence structure also and another introduction i will show you now second introduction the above or given so only use one word so it should not be like that that you will be using uh, this uh, no only one word the given two maps provide the information about the differences between the village of uh, mm, uh, between in fact these between the village of uh, uh, Shelton in, two, in 1910 and 2010 now coming to second body paragraph that is overall paragraph so so students are oftenly confused whether we, we should write it at the second number of uh, paragraph or at the end so it all depends you can write it at the end also or you can write it on the second number after introduction so nowadays uh, it is on the second number now coming to overall means you have to just write the overview of the paragraph of the uh, map the diagram from the overall point of view comma it is manifest or it can be clearly seen that the uh, that shelton shelton village passed through significant developments or changes over the period with the introduction of new services on the school road while a large number of houses were built on the right side of the village okay so whatever you think that this is the major change they have given only just name them over here don't give any directional words and all Sig just simple things you just say uh, pass through significant changes over the time period with the introduction of new services on school road and this thing so this is all overall paragraph now coming to details now in
so second second uh, map is this 2010 so we have already seen this now let's look at how i have written it so how i have started you can see furthermore after 100 years uh, instead of writing 2010 you can write 2010 also major changes were like the uh, butchers and uh, house were demolished so uh, two things they demolished not the school so school is still the same you can see this school same here uh, butchery house and house they have converted into bank and supermarkets you can see this Um, house were demolished to make a supermarket a parking lot and a bank on one side of the on the one side of the school road this is on one side of the school road because i have already written left side of the school road in first paragraph so now whereas now comparison words is uh, really important these words are really important uh, there were major Um, there were minor changes near cafe on the high street so minor changes you can see instead of uh, uh, these two houses are constructed and instead of bakery they have just demolished and just two houses are there you can see um, it is worth no i have not written the name of those changes it is worth noticing that some new house some uh, new house units okay residential units you can write were constructed next to the post office you can see this this is also major change four new residential houses are created mm. uh, on the contrast contrast uh, the center of the map had undergone a major or significant only one word you have to use not the two words like that had undergone a significant change such as so significant change you can see these houses and earlier there was large house and these trees one house so i will just explain it uh, such as a big house and tree were flattened and trees were flattened to build five new residential units and an introduction of a new road accessibility to these units okay so i have just explained everything every important thing you can see this furthermore or uh, or uh, looking at the second map you can start but here you need to just tell uh, you are going to write the another map so some connector should be there so you can see this this is my second map and this is my first map 